welcome back. Um, I've got two journals complete that I wanted to share with you today. Um, this one that's more of the blush pinks, I've named the Garden Path. And then this one, which is more the neutrals, I've named the Valley Below. They're very similar, um, so I'm just going to go through um, this one first. This is the Garden Path. These are both one signature. Uh, this one's been closed with some seam binding that I've attached to the front. It's just been left loose there, but it's gone through the um, the five-hole pamphlet stitch, so it's, it's secure, plus I've sewn it on here. Um, and then the front, I've got lots of um, little snippets of vintage trim from my collection, and then this is another of the beautiful images from Artie Mays. Um, calendar and Tags is what that kit is, so I'll put the link below to that. Um, so, um, within this journal, the kit that I primarily used was Artie Mays Touch of Spring. Um, it's just with the exception to the front covers. I love these images so much. I just cannot tell you how much I love working with those. And they, I just had to use those on the front here. Um, <coughs> so going inside, like I said, <coughs> most of the kit is the Touch of Spring kit, which I've worked with before. Um, but then I've combined it with numerous you know, bits and pieces from my stash from all sorts of um, different uh, designers. So, starting here, we've got um, you've got one, two, th three, four pockets on the front, and I've got big tag in the back. And like I said, not everything is from the, the um, Touch of Spring kit because I've just been um, going through anything that I've had left over that I thought really coordinated nicely, I've just went ahead and tucked in. Um, this is a little notebook with some leftover scraps that I had, and then just a tiny little um, library card. And then in, in here, I've got one of the little embellishments that, um, sorry, let me move that up, um, that, I, that we've made recently. I got a tutorial for that, and then just various things from my stash again, and this is a stamped image. I've uh, been trying to get my stamps out a little bit more this last um, few days and work with those. And then over here I've done um, a bingo card and I've glued it in the center so that you've actually got a tuck spot above and below. And then just a couple more um, things from my stash. Here I've created a big pocket and then just tucked in this little altered Rolodex card there. Lots of old um, papers. And here I've got a card with some uh, trim and then a glassine bag that I've altered and then I did some stamping on um, the muslin here. I love that. It says winter is an etching, spring a watercolor, summer is like an oil painting, and autumn is the a colorful mosaic of them all. I love that stamp. Um, I've had that for a long time and I know somebody's going to ask me who it is and I honestly do not know. I, I think it might have been um, Crafty Individual. I think that's the name of the company. I purchased it ages ago at one of the um, little arts and crafts shows here. And that's why I wasn't familiar with the um, the brand of it because it's a UK um, stamp company, and I don't have there was no package for it. So uh, some old music sheet. Everything's been tea dyed. I've got um, this is a French book page. This is some more of the um, Touch of Spring kit. I've got. Uh, little snippet tabs. I've got fabric ruffles that I've included. I 
and then this is a um, book page envelope. There's nothing in this, but um, I've clipped that on so that you could add some items to that. And here I've got, this is another of the tags that comes from that same uh, calendar <coughs> uh, kit that, that Artie Mays has. Various things in the little photo pocket. And then inside, I've got another little pocket here, and this is from Artie Mays Floral Tags and Cards Kit. Love that page from the from that kit. Um, yeah, it was funny because I was making the altered um, file folder, and I had in my mind for the journal I was going to make using this kit. Um, and then, you know, after I did the file folder, it just all changed. It, everything just started changing for me. So this was not what I actually intended for this journal to be. But I I do love it. I I just I can't tell you how happy I am to be back with fabric. Here I've just uh, stitched some additional paper on, so lots of writing there. And several little journaling cards I've tucked in this um, envelope. Love these pages. And she's just come out with a collaged um, set and I cannot wait <laughs> to, to work with it. Every time I think, oh, I'm catching up, somebody else comes out with another kit, and then I immediately I print it off, clip it together, and think, ah, oh, I can't wait to get started. Um, here I've just added a couple of glass beads to the center signature. Love that page. And this flips out. And here I've got um, another little journal card that shows through. So you got those two tucked in there. Lots of journaling cards in this um, journal and quite a few tags as well. And then this... Um, is a tag, a fabric tag, and then some collaging, and that flips open, and then these flip out so that you've got another little pocket here that holds several um, journal cards. Another fabric ruffle. Some tracing paper that's been tea dyed. Edith Holden page. And then here I've done a tea bag, altered tea bag pocket. Um, and then this is another one of the tags from the kit. And then that's got a little die cut there. So some more fabric snippet tab. This is some already May's eco dyed papers. And I'll try to give you a close up of those. They are so beautiful. If you're like me, I'm too intimidated to attempt to do the eco dyed so I love this because I don't have to worry about it. I can just print it out and honestly if you do it on, um, I've been working with 100 GSM and 120 GSM paper and it comes out beautifully. It feels really really nice. It's just they're stunning. So as far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother with the eco dyed because her images are so beautiful. Um, here I've made a little tuck spot, and then you've got a tiny tag pocket there. This is some more old paper. And then this is one of the um, big doily that's been sandwiched between the baking paper pockets. And I've just tucked in another little tag there, and this is another... Um, postcard from the Touch of Spring kit. So I will put that kit below because that's the primary kit for this. And I'll also put the um, link for the calendar 
um, cards and tags because those are what I've used on both of these journals uh, covers. I just love them. I love them so much. Another snippet tab. More writing space. And then on the back I've done a wallpaper um, pocket. And you've got a pocket back here and then this place to put something in and just tuck that inside. So that is the Garden Path, the pink one. Tie that up and we'll, we'll go through um, the valley below. They're very similar. Um, it's just I used a different kit inside this one. Um, Okay, and so this is the valley below. It's it's done in very neutral colors. You've got very um, pale blush pink in this card. Lots of vintage snippets, vintage buttons, vintage lace here and here. I love that. I only had a very small piece of that, guys. And, oh gosh, I would love to get my hands on some more of that. So I will be on the, the lookout for some more. I, I doubt I'll ever find any more like that. But that is, uh, I just love, oh, I love vintage laces so much. So addicted to them. Okay, so this is, um, this journal, the kit I've used in here is a Tracy Fox. And it's called... Uh, compendium kit and I will put the link below on that because all of the journal pages within this have come from Tracy's. Um, it really complemented this nicely because they're very um, soft vintage colors and I really I love this page because I like the roses in it. Um, it they're just it's a beautiful journal kit and I thought it went really well with this. This was some scrapbooking paper that I, I just created three, um, two pockets. And then you've got a large pocket back here to tuck something in. And again, it's just full of various things from my stash um, that I thought went nicely with this. And another little notepad that I've made. Another little um, embellishment that we did. I love this page so much. Here I've done a tuck spot with a couple of journal cards and the same here. And then this page we've got another journal card tucked back in this glassine pocket. And then you've also got these. That's one of the little faux tea bags that I made and these are just from my stash. Done some uh, stamping and sewing on the muslin. Oh, I love these pages. And this is uh, more snippet tabs, ledger paper. Everything's been tea dyed again. This is an Edith Holden um, uh, book page pocket. So you've got extra space there. You can tuck some things in. And I'm trying to make more floating uh, pockets and um, envelopes within my journals so that whoever purchases them can move them around where they want rather than, um, you know, them being stationary because it can change, you know, you might, wanna, you might not necessarily want an envelope where I would decide to do. This is a French book page in this one as well. This is another... Um, <clears throat> Tim Holtz uh, photo die. You've got a space back here. You can add a, another uh, tag behind. And then also on this you've got um, a little pocket there. And just various little journaling cards from my stash. Another snippet um, tab. And then here I've just added a couple more uh, journal cards that I thought coordinated with it. Sorry, I'm at I'm still at this really odd angle because this new camera setup I've got is it's better than what I had, 
but I still haven't quite worked out and I, I'm hoping this weekend to get the chance to mount this um, slightly different because it is really presenting a problem for me when I go to do the flip through. Not so bad when I'm doing a tutorial, but the flip through I seem to always be at a really strange angle. Um, here you got another little tuck spot there and then a tiny little um, journal card there. The center of this one I've included one of the accord accordion um, pages and then each of these pockets has got um, one of the coordinating tags from the kit. This is the ephemera that goes along with Tracy's um, kit so I will put those links below. Yeah, I like these pages. They're beautifully collaged. They're, um, it's another thing, like I said, I feel as though um, some of Tracy's kits, um, this silhouette and this kit in particular, they they could work in so many different ways. And you can see that within this journal because I've mixed it with a lot of other designers' uh, things and it works beautifully. Um, here's another one of the kits, uh, tags from Artie Mae's calendar and um, tags. And I've had that so that it shows through. Another little sn uh, snippet tab. And then this is another one of these envelopes that flips open. And inside here I've just put a little altered uh, Rolodex card there. And then like I said, this is all fabric and, and various fabrics, um, a little bit of lace, and just various things, and then I've sewn buttons onto them as well. And then this one, I've hand-torn um, most of the pages in this, this particular journal are hand-torn. Another uh, French book page, fabric, ruffle, some more old uh, lined paper, and the Edith Holden. And then this one's got the little tea bag pocket. And this is one of Tracy's uh, tags from a different kit. I think this was Nature's Epiphany. Touch that in there. Another little snippet tab. I love that page. And that page as well. Those are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And then here is another of the um, doily envelopes that I've created. So you've got a pocket behind and it opens up for a pocket. And then this is another wallpaper pocket on the back here. The journal card inside and another tag tucked behind. Okay, so there they are. This is going to be it for the fabric um, journals for a while. I've, next week I've got um, planned a couple of um, large journals, but it'll be a little while before I'm doing fabric, I think, um, because I've got two hardcover that I'm intending to work on next over the next week. Um, so there they are, guys. This is the garden path, and the valley below is the beige one. So if you're interested in those, I'll have a link below to my shop, and those will be in there for sale. Um, and I will put all the links below to the kits that were used, and I appreciate you guys stopping by today. I hope everybody's having a great week, and it's just terrible weather here today, which is unusual. We haven't had a lot of rainy weather um, this spring, which is unusual for England, but it's it's raining today, which we need it, so I'm not going to complain about it, but Apparently, we're supposed to be having some really nice weather moving in next week, so that'll be nice. <laughs> can get back out in the garden a little bit, do some work out there. So, you guys have a great rest of the week, and I will see you back here very soon. Bye!